So what's with the pool, big guy? If you must know, certain dragons have the ability to see visions. The thoughts, memories, and dreams of others. And to see what's happening in places far, far away. I am one such dragon. And in this pool, the visions come forth. Oh, really? Is that so? Okay, what am I thinking now? What am I thinking now? Okay, now. Now. Now, 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 now. I'm afraid it's not that easy, Sparks. It takes time, reflection, and patience. What I do see in the Pool of Visions is that Voltia, one of the Guardians, is being held on Dante's freezer. Spyro, while I look for details on the others, I want you to venture there and find out what you can. Remember, just look around. If you encounter Cinder, run. You're not ready to face her yet. Okay, so when people are trying to kill me, I run? Got it. But, Ignitus, how do we get there? I'm glad you asked. Why are you smiling? I don't like it. Let me get this straight. You're saying that I can fly? Maybe you've been hanging in those caves a little too long, old man. Spyro can't fly, we all know that. Yeah, a bit of fresh air might do you good. I've, I've never flown in my life. It's you that will be getting some fresh air, Spyro. Now, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and empty your mind. Yes. Yes, that's it. Now feel the power of your ancestors coursing through your body. In times of crisis, they will come to you and teach you. Unlocking powers you never knew you had. Boy, this I gotta see. Just forget everything you ever thought you knew. Forget yourself. Only through forgetting will you remember what your ancient blood already knows. You can fly. Are you kidding? He's flying! Welcome to the club, big guy! Would that be the annoying pest club? No, smart aleck, the flying club. Yeah, I could get used to this. Hello everybody, I'm BlueBlur21 and welcome back to The Legend of Spyro New Beginning. Last time I ended abruptly because I was running out of time and I didn't have time to say that I was running out of time. Did I say out of time yet? Did I say out of time yet enough times? I don't think I did. Anyways, this time we're flying and we've already spent about four minutes of our time on cutscenes. Haha. <laughs> so it's giving a tutorial on how to fly. We can slow down, we can speed up. Uh, slowing down with the L button and speeding up with the right button. We're actually going to speed up as much as we can. Also, uh, speeding up and flying, uh, speeding up flying and shooting fireballs both waste energy, so... Don't forget, you can, you can make Peppy Hair proud and do a barrel roll, so don't forget to do that. And it's this guy! We can't go faster than him. Always tried to go faster than him, but you just never have enough energy to do it. I don't think, I don't think you can. He turns that way, so. You can even see the text, you can even see the box that's just like, hey, it is a fish. Turtle fish. Whoa! Dread wings. I think those are called dread wings. You don't actually have to destroy those ships, those uh, ships, those cannons. You can just fly right past them. So. I am in this Uh, those monkeys can hit you. I'm just being really good at avoiding them. So you just want to be a little 
careful because they can. Whoa, that was close. They can hit you and you can die, so be careful. The monkeys are the real wizards here. Watch it, monkeys. Oh. Flying monkeys! Last wave. And we are about to get into another cutscene. Dante's freezer is a desolate arctic expanse that's littered with the machinery of war. Soldiers and weapons frozen forever in the posture of destruction. You must find Voltaire before he's lost forever. How the heck do I land? Coming in too fast! This doesn't look good. Incoming! That's gonna hurt. Ah! Ow. Poor Spyro. Nice landing, Ace. Yeah, maybe this flying thing ain't for me. Well, it sure doesn't help that you're carrying all that weight. You know, throw a salad in every once in a while. You might be okay. Yeah, I, I think I'll stick to the ground for a while. Good idea. Not exactly a friendly place, huh? Wonder where we should start. Well, I'm no hero like you, but maybe we should take that clearly marked path that leads to the interior. <laughs> Makes you wonder what Spyro's been eating all that time living in the forest with dragonflies. Is it weird that that blinked at me? Just keep moving. <laughs> ice cubes alive! <laughs> They're not ice cubes. <laughs> They are a new enemy that has no name. Cause I'm like frog, cause they don't deserve a name like frogweeds. Frogweeds are the lucky ones here. Welcome to the first, I guess, dungeon, kind of? Why don't we use this thing to knock that bad boy down? <laughs> I knew I brought you along for a reason. <laughs> Dante's Freezer is kind of like your first, it's kind of like your first dungeon, but it's also like your first level, because, um, uh, getting into the temple was like your tutorial level, and this is technically, ow, and this is technically your first level, so, but I guess you could also call it, uh, a dungeon too if you if you want it. This one specifically is actually this one specifically is actually is technically a dungeon. Which is odd. So we got some gems here. We might as well whack and get some uh of this. You can also do that. <laughs> we got snowballs here and welcome to ball pushing physics. Better than Okami. If you have any idea what I'm talking about, then congratulations on you. Okami had terrible ball pushing physics. Great game though. One more? I think I'm gonna need one more. Okay. There you go. That's a good idea. Glad I thought of it. You? Glad... You? No. <laughs> so this big monkey just put up a, an I a firewall, no, an ice wall that we cannot pass. We have to defeat all the enemies to do so, so we might as well 
get to work. Uh, those uh, fences have spikes on them for a reason. They do. They will hurt you. Might as well blow them up. Don't forget to uh, use your fireballs too, which is what I've been doing. Did he just kill- He just killed himself. That's hilarious. <laughs> he just murdered himself. Oh, he didn't want to fight the purple dragon. He was just like, nope, forget this. Wow, that's hilarious. He killed himself. Holy crap. Free experience. Yay! I don't think I don't think there's anything. You want to take a good look around in these levels because sometimes you will miss spirit cr spirit crystals, spirit gems, whatever you want to call them. Uh, not that way. Oh, never mind. It's that way. Okay. Go through here, and we got another one of these. We can't pass that wall, so we might as well do ourselves a favor and Mama said knock you out. And the ice wall should go down. Yep, the ice wall goes down. I think that's all the monkeys. I think more- yeah, more of them come. Okay, he's gonna block that so we can't pass until we defeat more of the enemies. Of course, they're gonna do that. And more monkeys jumping out of the woods. Swinging monkeys. Alright, it's just reminding us again. It's holding our hands, being like, hey, did you know that you could do this that you just learned how to do? Yes, I did know that. Get used to that, because they are going to do that a lot to you. They're going to drop in enemies from those- I think they're called Dreadwings. I'm not 100% sure. But we will find out soon enough, though. We will find out indeed. Alright, uh, did we defeat all the enemies? Yeah. He's a Megan around for it. Uh, make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, I know what's coming up next. Got these little ice machines that are up here. Yeah, there he is. Use the fireball to start. Ow! Can you hear me when I'm down here? Ha ha, sucker! Now he's dead. Gain the experience from him. And before we continue on, I'm gonna end this off here. So. We actually got pretty far, making it. We're making our first way, our way through the beginning of Dante's Freezer, and about to make it through deeper in, and hopefully finding Voltier, the next dragon. And if you couldn't tell by his name, I think you know what element we're getting next. I will see you guys then.